Broadway's Seawall, A Life, ends its limited run on a box office high note. LBJ's legacy officially continues tonight on Broadway. And exciting news for fans of Disney's Frozen. All coming up on today's Broadway Scoop. Good morning, theater fans. I'm Karen Robbins with the Broadway Scoop for Tuesday, October 1st. The Broadway production of Seawall, A Life, saw its highest grossing week as it played its final week of performances at the Hudson Theater. Featuring actors Tom Sturridge and Jake Gyllenhaal in back-to-back monologues, the two plays finished the week ending September 29th by grossing over $850,000. Other productions enjoying a profitable week at the box office included Jeremy O. Harris's Slave Play, which played to over 92% capacity in its third week of previews, and Beautiful, the Carole King musical, which played to more than 98% capacity. Once again, the two highest grossing shows on Broadway were Hamilton, which took in over $2.9 million at the box office, and Moulin Rouge, the musical, which earned over $2 million. For a full recap of this week's Broadway grosses, visit broadwayleague.com. The Great Society officially opens tonight on Broadway at the Vivian Beaumont Theater for a strictly 12-week limited engagement. Written by Tony Award and Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Robert Schenken and starring Brian Cox, the drama is the companion piece to Schenken's Tony Award winning play, All the Way, and follows the tumultuous times that led to the conclusion of Lyndon B. Johnson's presidency. And good news for fans of Disney's Frozen, the soundtrack to the highly anticipated sequel, Frozen 2, is now available for pre-order. Scheduled to drop November 15th, a week ahead of the film's release in movie theaters, the album will once again feature the voices of Broadway veterans Adina Menzel, Kristen Bell, Jonathan Groff and Josh Gad performing seven all-new songs written by the Oscar-winning team of Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez. And that's the Broadway Scoop for Tuesday, October 1st.